I want to turn to uh, Eyal Waldman. Uh, his daughter, Daniela Waldman, was killed at the Nova Music Festival, and I understand that she was there with uh, her boyfriend as well. Eyal, um, my and our deepest condolences to your family. Um, no Thank you. words can express how difficult even this is for me at the moment to speak to you. I, I see your grief, uh, and I'm with you 100%. Um, do you want to we tell us that. what happened? So, Daniel and Noam went to the Festival of Peace and Love in the South District in Israel. They went with thousands of kids to celebrate life, to celebrate love. On Saturday morning, they were attacked and murdered and slaughtered and raped and burned by the Islamic Jihad, by the Hamas, and by the civilians of Gaza who entered Israel and penetrated more than 24 villages and cities in the South District of Israel. We have now regained control, actually a few days ago, over the whole area. And now Israel is acting in defense, acting in defense to protect the borders of Israel, to protect the citizens of Israel against those animals who have done those horrible, horrifying acts of hatred. You know, we're seeing, Gaza we're seeing pictures. Israel. We're seeing pictures before before we we continue to talk about uh, Gaza. We're seeing pictures of them on screen, and they look so beautiful and, and so happy, and traveling the world and 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 uh, and going on adventures together. Um, I understand that they were trying um, to save themselves and and got in the car, managed to get in the car when this happened. Yes. Before going to that, you know, Danielle was born in California, in the United States. She was the happiest kid ever. And everybody really loved her. And she grew up as an amazing young girl and woman who everybody loved, and she loved everybody. Noam grew here in Israel and is a real man. They met in the army and have planned to spend all of their lives together. Yes, we have found, I went down south with my friend Israel Ziv, and we have found the car that uh, they were in. What happened, they were in the music festival, and I guess missiles start hitting the location. There were a group of seven kids that fled with their cars. Noam and Daniel with their friends turned south and I've seen a tract with three terrorists up north coming and we've saw the trails of at least three Kalashnikov guns from the back of the car ripping the car and two at least one came with a motorcycle from the front and we've seen the vicious inhuman attack of four or five kids that were in the car that had no chance to defend themselves. They have done nothing to hurt anyone except to come and celebrate life and love and peace. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, can, I cannot imagine how difficult uh, these days are for you and for your family. And I know the, the anger and I share the anger and the unfathomable uh, cruelty of Hamas with the images and the stories that we're hearing about what was done to innocent people on Saturday all over that area, in kibbutzes, at that party, in towns. I want to ask you about the situation uh, since Saturday. Um, you said you went down south with Israel Ziv. Have you heard anything from the government? Was the military there with you to try and understand what had happened to your daughter and to her boyfriend? And are you being accompanied since you, you received the news? No, we're not accompanied, but uh, I came back from abroad 
where we were on vacation. And two or three hours after I landed, I went down south and was able to find the car um, that they were in. So what you, happened is you had to we go were yourself. surprised. If, if you hadn't gone yourself, it may have taken even longer before you even knew what happened to them. You know, we did not know what happened is we found the car and we found some belongings and we knew this is the car Danielle was in because of an emergency call we have received from our cell phone that has the feature of a crash call. And that's how I identified the car. It was not their car. But what I want to say, Israel was surprised. Israel was not ready for the attack that came from down south. The Hamas and Islamic Jihad and all of the citizens of Gaza who have joined the terror organizations in their doing, in their activities, have the responsibility of what has happened. And what's even more important now, there are hostages that have been kidnapped into Gaza. And we ask the help of the international community to help us get those hostages as soon as possible back to their families, not in bags, but walking so their families can hug them again. Again, the responsibility of the hostages is on the Hamas, on the Islamic Jihad, and the citizens of Gaza that are part of those organizations. They all came into Israel to slaughter, behead, rape, kill, burn Israeli citizens that have done nothing wrong to anyone. And there could be as After many Saturday. as 200, there could be as many as 200 hostages, and as you mentioned, among them, children, women, the elderly, and men, of course. And these are all innocent civilians, not to mention <laughs> the soldiers that have been abducted. Yes, that is true. And it's the responsibility. And what Israel is now doing is an act of defense. And Gaza, Israel, the Middle East will not be the same again after morning of Saturday, October 7. Things will change here. No one will ever attack again or think of attacking again an Israeli citizen within the border of Israel. Imagine anywhere you live and you wake up in the morning with your family and you see five or six people trying to come and kill and rape and burn your kids your wife, your mother. I've seen heroic things. A, a general, his mother was killed, fought him and another guy for nine hours alone in a kibbutz and killed at least eight, if not 10 terrorists. I've seen stories of single handed or two men that have broken into houses to save their families. I'll bite all that. Many villages have been destroyed. Families have been destroyed. We now need to focus first to defend ourselves from Gaza, and second, to help rebuild the South District of Israel versus Gaza. I want to talk that even we're going through this and we need to take the Palestinians down. Our hands is still reaching out for peace. We want to live in peace with our neighbors. We want to find a way to make the two nations live in this amazing peace of world together. We have been killing each other for more than 75 years in an unbelievable manner. Let's sit down, talk, and find peace. In the last 60 years, more than 70 peace settlements have been made around the world. We need to learn from them and make sure we make peace here as well. So although we're now defending Israel in a very strong way, our hand is always, always reaching out for peace with everyone that is willing to sit down. I have built multiple design centers, including in Gaza, in Rawabi, in Hebron, in Nablus. And I personally have managed to bring Apple Design Center into Rawabi and more companies. I have worked with the Gazan people to build a future together. What happened today should have never happened. 
We will now make sure this will never happen again. But at the same time, we want to reach out to the Palestinian neighbors, to reach out and understand that we need to find a way to live together. Because if we will need to continue killing each other, they're not in the right place and they're not in the right situation. Even all of the demonstration and protests that we had here in the last month, all the pilots, all the special units have reported to duty. There's no one missing. There's no one that bailed out. <clears throat> On top of that, there are more people that came from abroad and we're lacking some gear because too many people have volunteered to go and fight into Gaza. And I will also, after we finish the Shiva, will go down there to help as much as I can. But they need to understand that if we don't reach peace, they're not in the right position and we will make sure they will reach out for peace. Otherwise, they will continue suffering until they understand they cannot live this way anymore. Killing our kids, raping women, killing elderly people. This is unacceptable around the whole world. So let's do peace after we fix some things in the Gaza district in the coming weeks and months. Hey, Al Waldman, I, uh, I admire uh, your strength and your desire and understanding um, even in this very, very difficult time that uh, I want to say we have to find, uh, thank you we have to find uh, to a compromise and a way to live here in peace with our neighbors. Please, we just have a minute left. I, I, well, I want to thank the United States and the President of the United States for supporting and standing behind Israel. We're fully committed to be an ally of the United States throughout the future years and fight together for freedom and democracy in the area and around the world. I want to thank you for the opportunity for this interview. Thank you very much, Eyal Waldman. Thank you. Um, who lost his daughter, Danielle Waldman. She was murdered together with her boyfriend at the Nova Music uh, Festival. Innocent uh, dancers that were shot to death.